Hi, thanks for joining me on the presentation. I'm gonna do a quick overview here and we'll just get started right away. Now, what we're looking at here is a human cell with the nucleus and within the nucleus, you have the chromosomes. And what we're gonna be talking about is the telomeres and they're being depicted in red right here on the tips of the chromosomes. They're the protective cap on the end that actually protects your DNA and keeps these nucleic bonds so that they stay attached. Now, I made a rope with a red electrical tape to just kind of depict the chromosome with the telomere. So the red part is depicting the telomere. And this is a healthy chromosome with the perfect telomere. But what's happening is as the telomere is being compromised, there's a domino effect. And it's a negative degenerative effect. As the telomere gets shorter, it's exposing the DNA, the, these nucleic bonds, and they're separating. And as the telomere gets shorter and shorter, the domino effect is, is that we lose more and more DNA. And DNA plays a critical role, much like software in a computer plays a critical role. So as we lose more and more DNA, what they found is that we start to exhibit more of the symptoms of aging and the degenerative diseases that go along with the telomere shortening and losing the DNA. And that's actually Nobel Prize winning research in 2009 Linking, linking the telomere and the degeneration of the telomere to every symptom of aging and every degenerative disease. So it was a huge discovery in the science of physiology and medicine and pinpointing with accuracy where the problems with our health originate. So whether it's Parkinson's, lupus, ALS, thyroid disease, cancer, uh, Alzheimer's and dementia, loss of vision, loss of hearing, uh, joint deterioration, uh, osteoporosis, skin issues, anything that's going wrong with the skin or the fingernails or the hair, uh, all of that is a telomere related issue. And it really originates with the telomere. So you can see that this is playing a critical role when it comes to our health and our quality of life and also our youthful appearance. Now, Bill Andrews is a geneticist and he knew that this chromosome as it's degenerating, actually has the ability to repair itself. Only we're suppressing that ability. In fact, we're suppressing it worse than we ever have. It's the first generation of children that won't outlive their parents. We're going backwards with lifespan now. And they've actually identified that the telomere is shorter in pre-teenagers than it used to be in recent decades. So as that telomere is shortening quicker and gets to this place where the cell shuts down, that's, you're gonna die of a degenerative disease. That's called senescence or death of the cell. And it's when the telomere gets to a certain length. So everybody, including children, are getting there faster, which means we're gonna shorten the lifespan and the quality of life. They're gonna to start to have the issues at much younger ages, these degenerative issues, and they are. So Bill Andrews knew that the chromosome could repair that. And within the, within the chromosome, there's a gene that produces an enzyme called telomerase. And telomerase could actually repair that damage. Only we're not supporting that. In fact, we're actually suppressing it more than we ever have. So Bill Andrews was featured in popular science as the man who would stop time because he was the first one to identify that gene on a molecular level and to prove how it was working back in 1994. And then what happened is as he um, pursued and continued to do that research, he was actually able to activate telomerase in human skin cells in vitro, in a Petri dish, in his lab where he invented the equipment. And he was uh, given inventor of the year runner up in 1997 for the, helping the chromosome to repair itself with human skin cells. Now, this is a, a video, I'm not gonna play the video here, but this is me and Bill Andrews about seven years ago, and he's endorsing me. I was mentored by Bill Andrews and learned everything that I'm sharing with you today from Bill, and then we started lecturing together, and then I put together my own presentation to help people understand where the problems are originating and what we can do about it today. Now, Bill Andrews and his research team, after identifying and being able to do this in the human skin cells, have been looking for compounds that you and I could consume for over a decade. And they had uh, gone through over 304,000 different compounds, spending over $30 million in testing. And they would, uh, with human skin cells in a Petri dish in vitro, they would use the equipment that they invented, trying to find compounds that would actually grow the telomere back by inducing that gene to produce telomerase and start to repair. Remember, that's an innate ability within the cell to do that. 
And just like when our skin gets cut, the skin can heal itself. Same thing with the bones. So they actually found eight things that would work. Each one of these red lines represents a compound that actually started inducing telomerase in the skin cells. And they could see the skin cells repairing themselves uh, on a DNA level. The only problem with these compounds is they were all too toxic. So that brings us to uh, this collaboration. And I've been working with John Anderson since 2005. And he's the world's leading foremost expert when it comes to nutrition and formulating with botanicals. And this is why Peter Greenlaw came up with uh, the idea to bring these two together, Bill Andrews, the geneticist, and John Anderson, the formulator, because John's learned how to do some things proprietary with plants, much like Bill has with the, the science and research behind telomeres. And so uh, Peter was successful. It wasn't an easy task, but he did successfully bring them together. And it was really quite remarkable. Uh, Bill Andrews brought John Anderson up to speed on telomeres. And John Anderson, or, uh, John Anderson said, I would have formulated for telomeres had I known all this about them. He said, I'd heard about them, but I didn't really know in detail the role that they played. And now that I know, being introduced to Bill Andrews, I'm more excited than I've ever been. I feel like this is the reason I was born. I feel very optimistic. So there was a contract written up between the two and John started sending his proprietary formulations over to Bill Andrews now that he knew what a telomere and telomerase was. And so uh, very exciting. I was able to watch this from this point on and became uh, very interested and very passionate about everything that was starting to unfold. Uh, long story short, in what John Anderson was able to do uh, Bill Andrews called him a genius. So here's John Anderson, the nutritional formulator. This is Bill Andrews, the one who identified human telomerase back in 1994. Now, John started sending formulations over to Bill's lab, and in the first 15 that he sent, they actually got a hit. So this little red line, is it, this is an assay in Bill's uh, lab, and it's it, when it turns red, that actually means it's growing the telomere back in the human skin cells in vitro. And so John's natural ingredient was able to do it, where Bill's compounds that he found, they were all too toxic, they were chemicals, they couldn't find anything that was natural, not even a safe pharmaceutical. And so here John did it with a natural ingredient. And in an interview, Bill Andrews says, well, we just have to you know, admit that we thought John Anderson was really lucky because we test thousands and tens of thousands of ingredients and we've never gotten any to work. And John sends us 15 and he gets a hit. And then he sends us 15 more and gets another hit. Within 120 compounds that John had sent over, all uh, with the foundation of a, 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 from natural plants, they, received the, they got those uh, seven right there. Now, the longer the red line, the better and more effective it is at supporting the induction of telomerase in the human skin cells. So this was all vetted by Bill Andrews. This is all factual right here. This is what Bill was able to see with John's compounds as they were testing them in the human skin cells. Bill Andrews says, this is the most exciting time of my life. John Anderson's a genius. Um, this will change the landscape of human health as we know it. And this will be ready to go. This is all natural. There is no side effects when you're using botanicals. And so uh, very exciting time that we were able to witness. And I've been taking this to the public and, and teaching on the science of telomeres and the human anatomy and what we can now do to support our bodies on this foundational level, really the most foundational level you can get to, and that is the DNA. Uh, over uh, the last few years, the product has gotten better and better. And there was a hit that John got from a natural botanical that just went off the charts. And John Anders, or Bill Andrews said that would be impossible to do with a natural botanical. And John did it. So there's over 25 different hits in what we're consuming now. Uh, it's fourth generation. It used to be called Product B. Now it's called Isogenesis. And there's 120 vegan gel caps. And you do two in the morning and two at night. So this is a one-month supply. There's 120 of them in here. And you'll do four a day two in the morning, two at night. And it's all natural and it gets into the bloodstream very quickly and attaches to red blood cells, which delivers the ingredients to where it needs to go. And they actually have clinical studies proving that it's doing that. Um, so just some observationals. I'll just give a couple here and then we'll wind this up and you can get back with the person who got you here. 
Uh, I've been sharing this now very enthusiastically and passionately. We're in 2018 right now. I've done well over 2,000 presentations around the world, mostly North America, and on Zooms and, and uh, how many people have watched the YouTube and phone calls. I don't know how many I've done, but this is the type of thing that's happening and becoming very common because we're supporting the body on this level. This is my friend Kathy in this picture here, and I have the before covered up. I just want to ask you, how old do you think Kathy looks here on the right? Emily was sharing Kathy's pictures, and, and her friends didn't believe that this was her. And Kathy comes into the conversation on Facebook, and she says, yes, uh, these pictures are, in fact, of me. The one on the right is at Fitness America in Las Vegas at 69 years old. I just turned 70 in May. And she says, I really do feel like I've been aging backwards, and what else could I possibly give the credit to? Thank you, John Anderson and Bill Andrews. And this is Kathy at 70 now. So, so many stories that um, uh, I've been able to be a part of and witness and be the catalyst for. I really get a lot of joy and passion and enthusiasm. Uh, it feels like a purpose-driven life. I, this is what gets me out of bed in the morning, helping people to restore their health and to teach them about this critical information. Uh, this is Dick Sauter and Amy Sauter came to a meeting that I did in Wisconsin at a dentist office and she got her father-in-law on it here. He's 82 years old and it was getting to the point where people were starting to say, you know, maybe it's time to put him into a nursing home and let the professionals take care of him and take the stress off of you guys. So Amy was elated when she came to the meeting and she got her father-in-law on it at 82. There he is at 83, here he is at 85, and here he is at 87. And like I said, the stories could go on and on, um, but I, I just want to point out as well, when children are born, a third of the telomere is already missing because of what's happening even within the womb, the lack of nutrition and the toxicity that the baby's exposed to while it's forming in the womb, uh, we've already lost a third of our telomere. And so it's important that we um, understand this and that we understand that we have a holistic way uh, being able to support the body to help the body to repair. And so I put my daughter on it. Uh, on the bottle, it says 18 and older. But as a parent, you know, I realize that this is a nutraceutical. This is something that my kids need to be on. And so as a parent, I made the decision that I'm going to put my kids on this. And so I put my daughter on it at about 11 years old. And she's a dancer. She's actually at the university in, in Berkeley in Boston right now. She's dancing. And, uh, but at 11 years old, she was going about six hours a night, uh, five nights a week. And I put her on the product and the first night she came home, she said, dad, this is the hardest workout of the week. We do it every Wednesday. And I don't even feel like we worked out. Was that that product you gave me today? And I said, absolutely. And I said, just keep taking it. And three days later, she said, dad, everybody's asking me what I want. What do I tell them? And so that was a neat experience to be able to have with our daughter. And then we put our son on it when he was a younger age in the elementary school. And the teacher called in three days and asked my wife what we had put him on. And she's all, what do you mean? He said, well, it just seems like he's focusing more. He seems more in control and, and he's not uh, talking out of turn. And there's just something that's come over Carter. And we're like, yeah, we noticed it too. And we put him on a new su supplement. And then Jennifer Trinkner up here, uh, she loves the product. She's, uh, she took Miss Bikini America at 46 years old. So she's 46 right here. And that was just last year when she had done that competition up against 20 year olds. And she said, I would pay $600 a month for this stuff, and it's not even near $600 a month. Uh, but she says the benefits that I, she was just trying to make a point that she really appreciates the benefits that she's getting out of it, and like I do as well. I even have my own story, and, but I'm not going to take time to go over that here. Um, I just wanted to make the point here, though, that everybody has telomeres, and they're all being compromised, and there's something that we can do about them now, and it's very critical that we do. Um, so get back with the person that got you here. If you want to see more on the science, I do about an hour presentation. It's on my uh, YouTube channel called Mechanic to Millionaire. Uh, but get back to the person that got you here. Let them know if you're ready to get started or if you need some more information. But thanks for joining me. And, you know, just the, the bottom line is long telomeres means our bodies are running optimally. And as those telomeres are compromised, uh, we start to experience the negative effects of aging and the degenerative issues that go along with it. I do want to say here that we're not making any claims around curing any illnesses or diseases. Uh, this is a nutraceutical. This is a, a nutrition, basically, a very refined nutrition uh, because of John Anderson and Bill Andrews. But we're not making any claims around curing any illnesses or diseases, um, that we're just supporting the body and then let the body do what it knows how to do. So with that, thanks for joining me and get back with the person that got you here. Thanks.